approximately 11.25 a.m. yesterday morning. The staff member was opening mail in the presence of an inmate when he encountered an unknown substance. He had a negative reaction to that substance. Uh, he was transported to the Strong Memorial Hospital for further evaluation. Um, and after a period of time, fortunately, he was released and was sent back home. Since um, is at is being sent to the crime lab for testing, we do not have that information at this time. Heart rate increased, his blood pressure increased, he became lightheaded, uh, at which point he contacted a supervisor and we had medical respond. And inside the envelope, he did not see it. Um, so once the envelope gets to the crime lab, we'll have more information once they open it up. As soon as something like that happens, we stop exactly what we're doing. We don't go in any further because of the risk to staff and anyone else standing around. We don't know what we're dealing with. So we, we seal it off, we put it in a, a bag, we make it safe, we send it to the crime lab and they're professionals, they can deal with that much better. We call universal precautions. Uh, before the mail goes into the jail, uh, deputies wear, a, wear, wear gloves and things like that to open it up. This was a piece of legal mail, so we can't open it outside the presence of the inmate. So this was actually done in front of the inmate and I do not know uh, what exact uh, universal precautions he was wearing at that time. Receive about 100 to 200 pieces of mail a day on average and every day contraband comes in, but contraband doesn't necessarily have to be a, a substance. It could be a photograph that's not allowed in or something of that nature. Um, and about, I'd say on average once a week, we pull out some type of illegal substance that's not allowed in the jail. 